the beauty of the area. It's just probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I like it a lot. I wish there was a way that I could come here and live and stay. This is Samaritan Lodge, Alaska, and this is the location for Operation Hill, our Patriots. We bring wounded veterans here and their spouses, and essentially we say thank you. We appreciate what they've done on behalf of the nation. Wake up, wake up. That's some good stuff for you. Seeing the Alaskan brown bears <laughs> was really cool. <laughs> Like, I'd have uh, help getting up and down some of the terrain. Didn't bring my waders, so I had to uh, find a way to stand on a rock and try to fly fish from the rock. We've been married uh, three and a half years and we met Valentine's Day. Actually, um, when I met her, I went home and told my mom that I was going to marry her. And my family told me I was crazy. <laughs> three years later, I proved them right that I was crazy. <laughs> and I married her. <laughs> I am a United States Marine. I came out of school of infantry and I deployed within a few weeks. We really didn't have time to be married. My second deployment was to Helmand Province, Afghanistan, in Amarja. It was one of the deadliest years of the war. I was the last man in a patrol. About 350, 400 meters in front of me, in between two compounds, I saw the flash of a sniper. He took one shot. I actually could hear the round coming down range a second before it hit me. And it hit me about that far below my bulletproof vest. Fractured my pelvic area, and I put my hand on my back, and there was a hole, blood was running down my legs. And when I turned to run, I realized my feet wouldn't work, and I just fell on my face. And I was praying. Two Marines, Cody, and Dan, they immediately started working on me without even worrying about their own lives. Bullets were whizzing by. What's been hardest for me was him coming back from deployment and being somebody that I didn't really know, a different person that left. Me having to learn how to be a nurse and a caregiver, I felt like I had lost my husband. But we're trying to get it back and learn, learn each other again. This is a very important element. The marriage classes really helped us to realize what we needed to show each other love and how we treat each other. What I've noticed that's helped me is the love languages. I've been going about it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I started using it as soon as I walked out of there, and I saw a difference by the end of the day. I think just about every couple has gone through some kind of transformation here. One of the things that the staff does is model Christian community, the love, the compassion. For the first time, a lot of folks realize that, hey, wait a second, we want to be part of a community like this. So they make a recommitment to Christ here, and we'll encourage them to continue to study the scripture, continue to think about their walk, and to come to the Lord. Before we came out here, we were a married couple who were acting more like roommates. And now we're trying to transition back to being a married couple and heal all those wounds. <laughs>